Woo! Hey kids, welcome to our 200th episode of App Judgment. Yep, that is well over 200 apps used and reviewed for your iPhone and Android pleasure. And there's a little Blackberry in there too. Now today we're taking a festive little trip down memory lane with all of our judgers, so sit back, relax, and pour yourself a drink. Or, or a little milk, I don't care if you're underage or... I don't care, just, just watch these. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Squarespace. Welcome to App Judgment. My name is Ron Richards, and this isn't any ordinary episode of App Judgment. No, this is our 200th episode and our one year anniversary. I can't believe it was a year ago that we started doing App Judgment, and now here we are after reviewing over 200 apps for the iPhone, Android, iPad, Blackberry. We're here to celebrate App Judgment and take a stroll down memory lane and take a look at some of our favorite moments from the past year, as well as some of our favorite apps. Here are some of our favorite apps of the past year. Even if you're not a musician, my favorite app is G-Strings and it's great to keep handy. Get your mind out of the gutter, I don't mean that kind of G-String. This is a chromatic tuner for stringed and wind instruments, but with some serious customizable features to match the exact frequency, octave, and intensity you want. Or if you're not sure what note you're hearing, Auto-Tune will figure it out for you. From there you can customize the settings to optimize for whatever instrument you're tuning, providing the specific frequency range. You can also adjust the microphone sensitivity and playback. They offer a free as well as paid version, but seriously, the free version is even more than you need. Try it out and let me know what you think. Hey, App Judgment, happy anniversary. My favorite host is Patrick Norton because I think it's hilarious to see his gigantic fingers trying to use a little tiny mobile application thing. My favorite application, I should say TweetDeck in terms of the number of hours I've spent on it, but I'm gonna say Acceleroto's Air Hockey. My son and I play the Air Hockey on the iPad and the iPhone, and it is so awesome. 99 cents equals toddler joy. My favorite host is Mauricio, because he's always looking so fly. Happy birthday to us. We look pretty good for 200. All right, hands down, favorite app right now is Instapaper, available on the iPad and the iPhone. Now, we social networkers get bombarded with links all day, and that could really screw up our workflow. Now, with Instapaper, you just click on Read Later tab that you add to your browser and catch up later with text-only versions of the article. Happy anniversary, App Judgment. And I have to say, my favorite host is Steph. Hi, it's Stephanie and I love music, especially when my playlists are put together like magic with no awkward song changes. I've raved about Mood Agent for the iPhone before, but the new version is even better with smart rhythm algorithms and the ability to spread the word about great tunes with Facebook and Twitter. The new app is definitely an investment at $4.99 and there's still a free ad supported version, but maybe you'll like it enough to pony up and support this great idea. Happy anniversary app judgment, but you'll never pass Texella daily. Judgment. Okay, so for this review, I took a good, honest look at myself. What is the app I really use the most throughout the week? It's not Beehive, it's not Text Plus, it's not even Facebook. It's Ryan Seacrest Mixtapes by Bing. This app is free for 60 days, at which point you can buy it for two bucks. And now that I ponied up for a gym membership, my crappy iTunes library is not cutting it. Mixtape streams the jams over Wi-Fi or 3G, giving you a selection of workout jams, 90s hits, and the hit list. You can skip songs and view the playlist, but you can't skip two songs, so you get sort of the top 40 station experience. It floats my boat, and you know there's nothing like a little Kesha to motivate you to get in and out as quickly as possible. So download Ryan Seacrest. You know you love him. Annie out. Happy, Happy anniversary, anniversary app. Judgment. Judgment. Favorite host. Eileen. Prager. Ron. 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 <laughs> my favorite app judgment host is obviously me, um, but my number two would be probably Ron, because I think he's all the ladies' favorite. My favorite app since we started doing the show is clearly MLB at Bat 2010. Eileen and I reviewed it when the baseball season started, and let me tell you, I've used this app every day ever since. Keeping track of the New York Mets from San Francisco is not an easy task, but using MLB at Bat 2010, I can see the latest scores, see video, get audio, see the standings. It gives me everything I need to be a baseball fan. At just $15, this app has paid for itself time and time again. MLB at Bat 2010, definitely download this app if you're a baseball fan. 
as I lean here, my favorite new app is admittedly not new, but it does something very cool for the new iPhone 4. That app is Pixel Pipe. While the phone still sucks for making calls, it does take awesome 720p HD video. However, if you try to upload the video directly from your phone, it gets compressed. Enter Pixel Pipe, the awesome media gateway that will upload your video to Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, and other social media platforms as 720p. Even better, it's free and a definite download. I think my favorite app happens to be one of the first apps I reviewed and one of the, maybe the first app that I said don't download to. I said don't download. It was a $25 app, it was called Scanner. And the main reason I said don't download is because it cost $25. After I gave it the don't download, I realized that I kept using the app over and over and over and over again. Yes, it costs 25 bucks, but you can scan anything into a PDF and it'll OCR and turn it into printable text. You can fax it to anywhere you want pretty much for free, including multiple countries. Uh, and, and it's amazing. I've been able to take so many documents and turn them into multi-page PDFs, as well as search them for text and fax them and email them and do all that kind of stuff. I have no idea why I said don't download. I think it's because it was expensive, but I want to take back the don't download if I can possibly do it. It's a good app. All right, now to be fair, Jackie's new to the crew, so Jackie, you're my favorite. Right after Graham. Hey guys, Graham here. An app that I've found myself using a lot lately is the $3 Air Video app. It's an app that lets you stream any video from any computer on your home network directly to your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Just install the free Air Video server software to every computer you want to stream from, launch the app while your device is connected to the same network, and you're good to go. Air Video can play any video format. And if the video you're trying to play isn't compatible with your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad, it will convert the video on the fly and stream it to you instantly. The only drawback is that it won't play your iTunes purchased or DRM protected videos. If you've got a huge library of videos, TV shows, or movies on your computer, then this app is a must download. So many apps, so many memories, and we've got more for you after this word from our sponsor. Squarespace is a publishing system for anyone looking to build a blog, portfolio, or any kind of website. With blog tools that allow for iPhone updating on the go, hassle-free importing of sites from other environments, robust stats, and much more. Squarespace makes it super easy for anyone to build and maintain a site that you could only dream of with other platforms. And if you have the coding experience, Squarespace allows you to delve into the code and customize things even further. Tens of thousands of people all across the internet have been using Squarespace for years and their already great service is only getting better by the day. On July 14th, Squarespace announced a huge round of capital investment that allow them to expand at an even faster rate. We want to congratulate Squarespace and are truly excited to work with such great people. Here are some of our favorite memories from the past year of App Judgment. Happy anniversary, App Judgment. 200 episodes is an epic milestone and I'm glad to be a part of it. My favorite moment? I gotta say, getting the entire thing launched with everybody rolling, and of course the opportunity to carry a SCAR, it's a kind of an AR-15 type rifle while wearing a bear hoodie while reviewing Battle Bears. I'm gonna go look for zombie bears. Happy anniversary, App Judgment. My favorite moment from the past 200 episodes would have to be when Mauricio chewed gum on camera for a full minute while waiting for his iPhone to jailbreak. Priceless. A little bit for our AT&T reception. One of my favorite memories after 200 episodes on App Judgment is all the fighting we do on the show. Mao and Patrick wrestling or Chu throwing down on Prager. Really guys, it's honestly a sign of affection. I don't know if you're watching the same fight, but I definitely won that. Why is everyone always picking on me? Being on App Judgment has been so fun, both on camera and off. 
If you've ever wanted to know what goes on behind the scenes in app judgment meetings, it's simple. We get business done with a lot of laughs. Check out my most memorable meeting where our resident Android expert, Ron Richards, takes an Autotune app for a spin. Got a brand new girl, so I'm feeling all good inside. All good inside. Feel like I put some brand new 24s on a brand new ride. What does that mean? A brand new ride. Triple shot of Patron on rocks with a little bit of lime, a little bit of lime. I'm just keeping it real. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Can you believe it's the 200th episode already of App Judgment? I think my favorite memory so far was when Mal and I got to go to the launch party for Street Fighter and got a chance to ask the developer what his favorite character is. And so finally I want to ask you, who's your personal favorite character? Uh, uh, Ken, Ken. I like Ken. I like Shao Ryu Ken. <laughs> My favorite memory from App Judgment is when Mal explains that torrents are not illegal. There are some gray areas, and we all know this, but for the most part, he got it right. Now my favorite App Judgment moment, convincing Ron Richards that pantyhose on the head are a good idea. Because they are. Well, it's, it's kind of comfortable. Oh man, my eyes. Are we rolling? Okay. Ah, damn it. Okay. <laughs> no, you're right. This is kind of comfortable. Yeah, I told you. Yeah, thanks. You know, Ron and I went to go get a drink after that with the stockings on, and we cleared the place. It was awesome. But I don't know about you, when I think about Halloween, I think about picking up chicks. My favorite memory of App Judgment actually came from before App Judgment even existed. Sitting in Mauricio's editing suite talking about how we wish there was a show that would review apps for Android or for iPhone so we'd know what apps to download. A couple hours later, we came up with the name App Judgment. A couple of days later, we shot a couple of test pilots, and the show that you watch now was born. In those early test pilots, I actually reviewed Eileen's favorite app, Pixel Pipe, had way more hair and a crappy G1 phone. But that's my fondest memory of App Judgment. Here's a 200 more episodes. That was awesome. All right, well, if you have any apps you want us to check out, email us at appjudgment at revision3.com. And also check us out on these awesome, awesome social websites. I'm Mauricio. Thanks for watching. Uh. Judgment. I don't remember. It's cold. Yes. Good.